Hello, I'm Howard, pastor of the Roseville New Church, and welcome back to Spiritual Shorts. This week, we're tackling a very relatable struggle, the inner conflict of trying to lead a spiritual life while surrounded by worldly temptations and self-centered desires. Sound familiar? It's like there's a constant tug of war inside, pulling us between what we know is good and what feels satisfying in the moment. To spiritually frame this conflict, we're starting with a story from Genesis chapter 19. In this story, we see two angels approach Lot, Abraham's nephew. He's sitting at the gate to the city of Sodom. Swedenborg's teachings help us to unpack the depth of this scene. Lot sitting at the edge of a place known for indulgence and immorality. He represents all of us as we navigate life, surrounded by choices and influences that can either lift us up or pull us down. In his book, True Christianity, Swedenborg explains that we are created to exist in both the physical and spiritual worlds. Think, Think of it this way. Just like a seed needs balance to grow, the right temperature, the right sunlight, the right amount of water, so do we. Too much focus on the physical and we get stuck in selfish desires. Too much focus on the spiritual and we risk becoming detached from the world. It's all about finding that balance. In fact, that's what Lot and Abraham represent in an earlier story from the Word. Abraham symbolizes our higher spiritual self, while Lot represents our worldly or practical side. So why does Lot end up sitting at the gate of Sodom? Well, Sodom is a powerful symbol for self-love. We all wrestle with it. It's the kind that can make us blind to the needs of others or even to the presence of the divine in our lives. Lot's position at the gate of the city is a striking image for the way we, too often, can find ourselves on the edge, trying to hold on to a spiritual life while surrounded by temptations. Swedenborg describes this as a journey from being driven by our base desires to becoming an angel person. In this sense, we're all churches in the smallest form when we embody love and goodness, creating a personal heaven right here on earth. But that journey isn't easy. Just like Lot invites the angels to stay with him, we too are invited to welcome the divine into our lives. And it's more than just saying with our words, it's about a genuine commitment to let divine goodness live within us. In Revelation, the Lord says, look, I stand at the door and knock. It's up to us to open that door and let the divine wisdom in. But here's the kicker. Sometimes, just like the angels initially hesitated with Lot, we feel doubt. In times of temptation, we question if we're really on the right path, if we can truly overcome these struggles. Yet Swedenborg reminds us that these doubts serve a purpose. They strengthen our trust in the Lord's guidance, pushing us to choose the narrow gate of love and truth. Lot's story shows us that we're always sitting between two gates. One is open to heaven and the other to hell. The choice of which to walk through is ours, every day, every moment. Are we letting the divine in, letting ourselves be nourished by it? Or are we stepping away, caught in distractions? So the next time you feel pulled in different directions, remember that image of Lot at the gate. Recognize that, yes, it's challenging, but each decision, each little invitation we extend to divine goodness brings us closer 
to that inner angel within. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Spiritual Shorts. If you're on a spiritual journey like Lot's and need encouragement along the way, subscribe to my channel. Like, share this video with others who also might benefit. I'll see you next time on Spiritual Shorts, and God bless you.